Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog from Grace Community Baptist Church designed to equip you and encourage you with the Word of God. Let's begin. All right, well, welcome to a new series of Grace Today. I am thankful to be back with you on these videos. I had some great time off and some restful time with my family, but I am eager to get back to these videos with you, mainly because of the book we're going to be studying. With this new series, we are going to take an in-depth look at the book of Romans. The book of Romans has been likened, likened to a multifaceted gospel diamond. It's as though it puts the gospel on display in such a way that with each turn, with each turn of thought, you see a new beautiful facet of this gleaming diamond of truth. And so we're going to enjoy looking at that over the next several weeks through these videos. As a reminder, as we begin this new series, I always encourage you to listen to these or watch these videos with your Bible in hand, to follow along with me in your scripture, in your copy of God's Word, and see that these truths that we're coming and that we're looking at are coming out of the scripture. I don't want you to hear my words. I want you to be encouraged and equipped with the Word of God. So with that, let's dive into Romans. And for the first couple of videos, we're going to look at the greeting that's found in Romans chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. Let's read that whole passage together. Romans 1, 1 through 7. Paul, a bond servant of Christ Jesus, called as an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son, who was both a descendant of David according to the flesh, who was declared the Son of God with power by the resurrection from the dead, according to the Spirit of holiness, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith among all the Gentiles for his name's sake, among whom you also are the called of Jesus Christ. To all the beloved of God in Rome, call the saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This passage, as with the whole epistle, is rich with theological truth. Many of these greetings in the epistles follow a pretty standard uh, format. And this one is no different in format, but it is different in length. This is one of the fuller greetings in Paul's letters. And really, this whole letter is one of the more full letters of Paul. It's one of the, one, one of the letters that is just packed with rich theological truth. And that begins with Paul's identification of himself. And even with his identification, we see the gospel on display. We really see the power of God on display with how Paul identifies himself. First, he identifies himself as Paul. That's significant because he was once Saul. The fact that he is now Paul shows us, points us to the gospel truth that this man's life has been transformed. You'll remember the story. Saul was a persecutor of the church, breathing threats of murder against the church, sent with orders to gather up men and women who believed in Jesus Christ, and bring them back to be arrested, and bring them back likely to their deaths as Stephen had endured. But on the road to Damascus, he gets interrupted by Jesus Christ himself, who knocks him to the ground, who blinds him, who says, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And then reveals himself to him. And with that, Paul's whole life is transformed. He realizes that Jesus is not dead, but Jesus is risen from the grave. He realizes the truth of the gospel, and he is transformed. And we see his transformation and how he identifies himself here. He identifies himself as a bondservant of Christ, as a slave of Christ. No longer is he pursuing fame and glory as a Pharisee. No longer is he uh, pursuing prestige within his society, but he is a slave of Christ. But not only that, he is an apostle. He is a sent one. He is one who is sent out with Christ with a mission, which he says, set apart for the gospel of God. So Paul, who used to be Saul, is transformed into Paul, the slave of Christ, the apostle of Christ, set apart for the gospel. Friends, this is a small glimpse of the power of God to transform lives. And if you are in Christ, he has transformed your life in just that miraculous way. No, you won't be an apostle. You won't be sent out among the Gentiles. You won't do the things that Paul did. But nevertheless, your spiritual reality is just as miraculous. You have been transformed from a cold, dead sinner 
into a servant of Christ, into one who carries the mission of the church to go into the world making disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Friend, if you are in Christ, you have been miraculously transformed, just like Saul was into Paul, the writer of Romans. Friends, I hope this is just a taste for you of what is to come. Throughout this letter, we're going to see Paul explain the powerful gospel of Jesus Christ that has transformed him from Saul into Paul, Christ's slave and apostle. I love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.